two cities with less in common than Moscow and Santa Barbara. Harsh Soviet winters versus the affluent life of endless summers on the California coast. But when a daytime soap decides to make the twain meet, anything is possible. Viewers tuning into Santa Barbara are usually turned on to sex, murder, and mayhem. But these days, histrionics are replaced with history, Russian style. There's a new generation here. A new Russia. The soap and its newest leading man, Jack Wagner, temporarily move locations to Moscow. Wagner plays Warren Lockridge, a reporter determined to bring the Soviet struggle to viewers back in the California coastal town. I've never been to Russia, but uh, it's a great experience. I find myself not really having to act, but I actually get involved in asking the questions, you know, and with the people and what they have to say. It's very moving. Much of what the viewers will see wasn't scripted, and the interviews are with real Soviet citizens. And you would have died, given up your life, rather than have the coup succeed. Yes? I think that uh, many people would have rather died, yeah. The show's co-creator felt the Soviet coup and the downfall of communism were such an important part of world history that they couldn't be ignored, not even on a soap. We wanted to give a little stature, a little guts, a little heft to the soap opera in a way that it hasn't been done before. Also never done before, Soviet citizens will be able to watch Santa Barbara daily beginning December 2nd. It's the first American daytime drama being broadcast in the Soviet Union. If Wagner gets his way, this won't be the last time Santa Barbara travels to an exotic location. My character, you know, this uh, Warren Lockridge guy is a bit of an Ernest Hemingway-esque you know, type, so uh, he uh, at any moment could go to the next natural disaster or world event, uh, hopefully, if NBC gives me the budget. Those special Santa Barbara episodes will begin next Tuesday and will run through the end of the month. Former Santa Barbara star Marcy Walker will be making a move to prime time in a romantic mystery that leads the way in tonight's coming attraction. Since you're reporting to me, we're going to be forced to work with each other. The sparks fly on Palace Guard when public relations executive Marcy Walker is assigned a new partner, reformed burglar D.W. Moffat. Their common goal, to provide security for a chain of hotels. The relationship is forged out of the fact that they have such different values. He looks at life one way and she looks at it another. Viewers can get their first glimpse of Palace Guard tonight on CBS. You listen, Anna? Okay. On cable, busy mom Marcy Walker and dad Cotter Smith hire au pair girl Olivia Dabo and think she's sweet and efficient. But Olivia is really a devil worshiper who wants to turn their daughter to the dark side. Dabo says it was fun playing a villain. People think I'm very sweet because of my face and I, I, you know, I'm a nice person, but everybody's got a bit of evil in them and it's fun to tap into that. Midnight's Child premieres tonight on Lifetime.